All right, well, good morning and welcome. That was good. We're in a fire station. We got to be really quiet. My voice is going to bounce all over the bay here. Welcome to what has been a long time coming. Uh, the opening of Fire Station 95, which represents our fifth fire station serving the city of Temecula. My name, yeah, let's hear it. My name is Aaron Adams. I have the privilege of serving as the city manager for the city of Temecula. But before we begin, I would like to recognize a few dignitaries, and you're going to hear from a few others a little later in the program. Uh, former mayor, once a mayor, always a mayor, council member Marianne Edwards. From our Community Services Commission, I believe I saw Zach Schwenk. Thank you for being here. And from our Public Traffic Safety Commission, I saw Mr. Bob Hagel. Thank you. I'd also like to recognize uh, our police chief, uh, Lisa McConnell, and the troops for all being here today. Thank you, Temecula Police Department. Also, I would like to thank the city staff from our IT department, our public works department, our facility folks, and of course, our fire personnel that work tirelessly to dust the cobwebs, to put this station back together. Let's hear it for them. They made today possible, too. So. In a time when communities are being forced to downsize their public safety presence due to budget constraints, we at the city feel very blessed to be adding to our fire staffing and resources that ulti ultimately benefit you, our resident. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge and thank the residents of our city that voted to support Measure S last November. Thank you. It is that revenue stream that allows us to provide this enhanced level of service from Station 95. So again, thank you. Today you will hear from some of our key leaders in government we will have a blessing of the fire station shortly, uh, a ribbon cutting, and then we hope everyone will stick around and take advantage. We have tours, guided tours, and refreshments. So this is your new station. And so at this time, I would like to introduce our fire explorers to come on up who will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you wouldn't mind, please stand. Face the flag, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I think I heard a bark from the canine, too. It's like, amen. Um, at this time, I'd like to invite up my friend and uh, senior pastor for Rancho Community Church, Mr. Scott Treadway, for our invocation. Well, it's an honor to uh, be here and to see you all. I got a chance to uh, see a lot of the residents right here down the road, and I love that they said, this is my station, and that's truly the feel of the community and the feel of public safety, that uh, this is our community together looking out for each other, and we certainly thank God for our uh, public safety officers. Uh, it's a time-honored tradition as a fire station is opened to bring a blessing because uh, really the notion of public safety emanates from the heart of God. God wants our well-being. He wants us to flourish. He wants us to be a community that enjoys one another and enjoys uh, the safety from one another. And so it's in that tradition that I'd like to read from Psalm 121 and then have a, a prayer of blessing upon the station. It's a, a psalm of protection. The psalmist says, I lift my eyes to the hills, and where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. 
He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. He will not sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. Let's pray. Our God and Heavenly Father, may all firefighters who are called here to serve in this station be brought under your protection, God of compassion. Give them the confidence they need in difficult situations. Ground them in the awareness of their special calling and unify them in their relationship and their mission together, that they may serve with integrity and concern for those who are suffering. Grant them safety in their mission, God of love. Give them all they need to work confidently with great skill, blessed by you in every call. May their courage and ingenuity enable them to save lives and property for your glory and in your grace. Only you, God, know what challenges the future will bring to those who serve in this station, the men and women who sacrifice for the common good. So in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, we place this station and those who serve in it in your special care and your special concern. Guide them, direct them, and assist them always in their work. Keep them from harm and return them safely home to their families each and every day. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Treadway. And at this time, it's my privilege and honor to introduce your mayor, Mayor Matt Ron. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, sounds good, though. Right? Yeah. Oh, that sounds weird. Uh, huh. So, um, good morning. Uh, thank you all for joining us here today. Uh, this is your fire station, right? Uh, it's an amazing opportunity for us. It's an amazing turnout. You know, I got to say, everybody loves firefighters, right? Let's give them a hand. Uh, you don't have to do much, and everybody just shows up. I'm a little surprised it wasn't a pancake breakfast, though. That's usually the tradition. Um, you know, every, uh, every year, the uh, mayor of our city chooses sort of a theme or initiative for that year. And I think it's very fitting. We usually don't announce it till a little bit later in the year, but I think it's very fitting here today to let our residents and our city know that the theme for this year is all about public safety. Um, when I came onto the city council three years ago, it was my understanding that the primary role of any city is uh, public safety, protecting our community, uh, making sure that it's safe. And I'm proud that we're opening this station today and I'm proud that we've been able to uh, work with our community to uh, uh, help them understand the importance of investment in public safety. Temecula today has uh, a, a police officer ratio of uh, about 1,000 to 1 uh, in our city. Very few cities actually carry that ratio. Uh, and we not only are opening a new station today, but we didn't sacrifice our protection standards just to open this station. We were able to not only open this station, but also maintain four-person staffing on every fire engine we carry in this city. What's, what's interesting about that is uh, very few communities will hold that standard, but that is the nationally recognized standard. Uh, it's not the Cadillac version, it is the version of what is best for our community, and I'm proud that we're able to, uh, to provide that level of protection. Uh, I've been spending about the last 10 years or so uh, working on uh, research and education programs related to uh, firefighters, uh, attack effectiveness, firefighter health and safety, and let me tell you, uh, being able to maintain the type of resources we have in this city, uh, being able to maintain the type of uh, staffing that we have on those engines, is not, not just important for us in protecting our community and having uh, the best response times possible, but it's also important to our firefighters protecting their health and safety and also to their families who depend on them coming home every evening. Cannot thank you uh, enough for all of your support. Uh, CAL FIRE is one of the most respected fire departments uh, in the United States, one of the highly, highest trained uh, folks that I have enjoyed a decade of working with, and I look forward to uh, many more years to come. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you, Mayor. 
Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce the gentleman that is responsible for uh, all of the fire operations within the city of Temecula, and actually he has responsibility beyond the city of Temecula. Please welcome uh, to the podium here our fire chief, Charlie Dehart. I'd like to thank everybody for their support. Um, the Press Enterprise dubs this as a decade in the making. That decade for me became like two months. By the time we cut through the red tape, got everything going, um, I brought the captain on board. We had about two months to prepare the facility to uh, accept a crew. And uh, it's been challenging. So I've got a lot of people to thank for it. Um, First, I'd like to thank uh, Matt Mayor, Mayor Ron, thank you very much for your support. Um, you were instrumental in this, and uh, I look forward to working the rest of the year with you. And Councilwoman uh, Marianne Edwards, thank you for your support. The rest of the council for all of their support. There's a couple people, I know they're gonna hate me for this, but uh, if Captain Colvin would stand up and be recognized for his efforts on this. Um, I brought Captain Colvin on about two months early to deal with a lot of the issues we had to, although it's a new facility, the facility is over 10 years old and we had a lot of bugs to work out. And he stepped up to the plate, he came in um, a lot of people thought, oh, you know, he's just hanging out at the fire station all 10, 11 o'clock at night. He's still here working. So, Captain Colvin, thank you very much for all your hard work. So. And I refer to my office assistant, Wendy, as the fire chief because she's the true fire chief that keeps me straight. Wendy's in the back hiding from me. So, Wendy, Wendy had her hands full with coordinating contractors and everybody else to come in and finish the facility for us. And um, while the rest of us got to bail out because we were burning Marietta up or something else was happening, so, um, Wendy, thank you very much for organizing everything and keeping myself and the battalion chiefs and everybody in line. Thank you very much. So, and my last thank you is to the citizens of Temecula. Thank you for passing Measure S. You have just added another fine layer of protection to your community. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, at this time, could I invite Mayor Ron up? Uh, we have a couple proclamations that will be presented to you and, and, and the Chief. And the first I'd like to introduce from uh, the Senate District, the 28th Senate District. We're honored to have uh, Glenn Miller here, so please come on up and welcome him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's an honor to be here on behalf of Senator Stone. Uh, as you know, Senator Stone was a Temecula council member for 12 years, then your supervisor, now he's your state senator. But it's always his theme was public safety from your police and fire. But I've got to say, you know, Cal Fire, my hat's off to him because of not only opening a station today, but they've been working on these fires for months now. And the, the work that they do is amazing. We owe them a great deal of gratitude all of them up there that are working away. So thank you, Chief, and all your staff for all you do for us on a continual basis. Uh, but this uh, fire station means so much more. The investment that you invested in by passing Measure S and then having a great council that was able to invest it back in the community will pay dividends as the new homes go up. But you have a great council. You have Cal Fire, who is as uh, mayor uh, Ron uh, talked about is top-notch. They're the best in, in the United States. In my book and in everyone else's book, you have your Temecula Police Department uh, uh, covering the police entities from the sheriff. 
And you have invested to make Temecula one of the greatest cities, if not in the state of California, but in the United States. So congratulations, and on behalf of Senator Stone, the one million people we represent, uh, investing in yourself, uh, you couldn't have done a better job. Thank you for opening this station, and congratulations to all of you, including the residents. God bless you all. Thank you, Glenn. At this time, uh, it's, it's an honor to invite this gentleman up who served the city of Temecula very, very well for well over a decade and is now leading the third district as our Riverside County Supervisor. Please welcome Supervisor Chuck Washington. Thank you, Aaron, and uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, thank all of you for being here today. Uh, this is uh, a great event. Um, I have a proclamation uh, signed by every supervisor on the Riverside County Board of Supervisors, but to read it, I'd have to pull my glasses out. So I'm just gonna hand it to Matt. <laughs> because I don't wanna miss the opportunity to tell you a, a little bit about the story of this station. Go ahead, you can get it. You need to get it? <laughs> kids, I love that the kids are here. I saw a little uh, three-year-old, four-year-old, three-year-old running out of the station ahead of his mom who's pregnant. Um, <laughs> I, I'm a new grandparent, so relatively speaking. Um, so it's great to see the kids here. Um, the development that was responsible for building this station, Rohrpah Ranch, was approved in the 2001 2002 time frame. The developer went bankrupt, but before doing that, the, the developer built this fire station. The developer built the clubhouse, but the developer didn't fi uh, finish building Butterfield Stage Road and the drainage uh, facilities that were required to support the development out here. And so it literally took, and if you'll recall those years of 2006, seven, eight, nine, it literally took half a decade to begin to try to unwind that mess, recover the funds uh, that were uh, a result of the bonds taken out that the city sponsored, and I was here at that time on the city council, and then get Butterfield Stage completed, to get the drainage facilities completed, and finally we arrive at this day now where this station, which was built 10 years ago, and I think many residents thought that, wow, the city wasted a lot of money building that station and didn't open it. But the developer built this station. The city didn't pay to build this station. Now the city is going to be responsible for opening this station and running this station. And I could not be more excited uh, as a Temecula resident that we have an additional station. We came here almost 29 years ago with a six-year-old. She is now married, the mother of a five-year-old and a two-year-old who also lives in Temecula. And so our family's growing. I think a lot of the families in the area are growing. And we are being well served by our public safety agencies. Uh, I'm happy to see our fire chief Charlie is here. Congratulations to him and our new police chief, Lisa McConnell, in the back. Um, Temecula is going to be well protected. So I congratulate everyone who is involved in making this finally a reality. Uh, and God bless, God bless Temecula. Thank you, Supervisor. Uh, at this time, uh, we want to remind everyone that tours are going to be afforded to everyone that wants one. There's trailers, there's things for the kids to do in the back uh, yard, take your photos. We also have refreshments, we hope you'll stay for that. And with that, God bless Temecula and thank you for coming out today. Thank you all, have a great day. Oh, you know what? We probably should have cut the ribbon on this. <laughs>
Yeah, you know, nothing gets by me. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to back this engine up a little bit, and we're going to bring the group out in front, and we're going to have our backs to the station. So if you want to move to the front uh, for this, we will close with the ribbon cutting.